Hi, I'm Antonia, and welcome to Embroidery Playground. Today, we're going to be making a 5x7 bag in the hoop right on our embroidery machine. Stick around to see how. So this style of bag, this top zip 5x7 bag, is the same style that comes with our coloring felty sets. I just did this one blank for the sake of this video to show you how to make it. Whenever it comes to stitching the details on the front for your bag, I do mention in the video the step that you will need to do that in. So like I said, I just did this one blank, but that doesn't um, change anything about the design. You will still do it just the same way as I've done today. So let's get started. All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Let's go over the supplies that you're going to need. Today we're doing the 5x7 top zip bag, so you will need a 5x7 hoop with tearaway stabilizer, a zipper 7 inches or longer, two pieces of outer material, and I'm using this soft um, faux leather, and two pieces of lining. We are doing the lined bag today, so I'll need two 6x8 pieces of lining. And I'm going to put the two tabs on the top for a strap, for a shoulder strap. So I am using two pieces of um, fabric folded to make straps with D-rings on the top. And those will go on the top of my bag just like that. Um, alternatively, you can also put one on the side instead just to have a little wrist strap. But today we are doing the top placement. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll set all of this aside. So the first step for all of my bag designs is the placement step for um, where you will put your zipper down. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the machine. And I will run the placement stitch right on the stabilizer. That will be an outline for the entire bag as well as the line for us to place our zipper. So we'll be right back. All right, so we do have our placement lines stitched right onto the stabilizer. These two little lines here is where you will place your zipper. So I will place my zipper right there with the teeth centered right inside that line. So you want to center your zipper teeth right inside that box so they're right in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and tape down the ends so my zipper does not move. I just want to double check and make sure it is still centered. And I think it's pretty good. So we will go ahead and go to the mach machine and stitch the tack down for the zipper. All right, so we do have our zipper tacked down and it was nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and remove this tape for right now. So the next step will be a tack down line right across the bottom of the zipper. And that will be to hold your lining in place as well as your front material if you choose to put it, uh, put fabric on the top. So if you want to put fabric down, you will want to place it right side down like this on the hoop. That way when it stitches the tack down across, you will fold it down and it will have a nice seam up here. Otherwise, if you're using vinyl and it doesn't have a raw edge, you can put it just like this and it will tack it down. But since this material, I called it a faux leather, but it does fray. I'm not sure exactly 
what it's called, but it does have a stretch to it and it will fray. So I'm treating it as fabric today. So the way that you will want to put your lining on, you'll flip your hoop over to the back side. So where you see the back side facing up. Place your lining down with the raw edge of the lining. You'll put it face right side down and put the raw edge right up against the bottom of the zipper. So you will secure that in place with tape. Let me get my clips out here. And like I mentioned before, I will clip my lining to my stabilizer to keep it from moving. So just like that. And flip it back to the front so I can do the same thing with my fabric on the front. So I want it to be like this. So I'm going to put it right side down with the raw edge just below the zipper. And I will go ahead and secure that in place with tape on the sides. And again, I'm going to clip right to the stabilizer and to that other piece of material just to give it an added piece of security. Just I just don't like for them to move. So you want to be sure that they are nice and safe. Just like that. So now we're going to go back to the machine and stitch that tack down right along the bottom of the zipper. And it's going to stitch the lining to the underside as well as the top fabric to the top of the hoop. All right, so we do have our tack down stitched to hold our material in place. And next, we will pull our main fabric down. And if you had details to stitch, you would do that on just this piece of material. Today, we do not have any details to stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my fabric for my lining down as well. So if we had details, you would leave your lining up and follow through with the next step. And that would be tacking down this fabric and then stitching your details. And then you would pull the lining down. We do not have details today. So we're going to go ahead and stitch the tack down to secure this in place. All right, so we have our main fabric tacked down and we've got our lining secured in place as well. So I will go ahead and take my tape off. And we will open the zipper past the midway point and secure our tabs where we want them. At this point, we're getting ready to put our backing on. So the backing will go on the top of the hoop. So now is when you want to place your tabs. If you wanted to do one on the side, you could do that here. Just place them wherever you want. Everybody likes them different. So I don't always put placement and tack downs um, for the ribbon loops because everybody wants them in a different place. And that's fine. You just secure them how you want them. And for these, like I said, I'm going to have two on the top today. So I'm going to place them right across the top. You 
evenly spaced from the side here. Just like that. And I'm going to tape down the raw edge up here as well so it doesn't move. So those are nice and secure. And I'm going to go ahead and place my backing on. The backing goes on the top of the hoop. And this step, when it stitches, will stitch all the way around. Since we are doing the lined bag, it will go all the way around for this one. And then the lining will leave an opening at the bottom to turn your bag out through. And that will be hand closed. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my machine and stitch my tack down. Alright, so we've got our backing tack down on the top of the hoop. So now we're going to flip it over to the back side. And you can see where our tabs were here. So just to be sure that they are still secured in place. So they didn't shift or anything under there. So now we're going to place our lining down on the back of the hoop. Right side down. So they're going to be, both linings will be right sides together. And secure that in place. I have lost all my tape. So we'll go ahead and tape these down. Just so it doesn't move. So our linings are right sides together on the back side of the hoop. So we'll go ahead and stitch that final step now. Alrighty, we have our lining tacked down on the back side. So we're going to go ahead and remove all our tape. And take the design out of the hoop. Clean up all our stabilizer. And we are ready to trim off any excess material. Since we are doing a lined bag, you want to be careful. Watch where the opening is here. And don't clip your lining fabric too close. You can trim off the outer fabric just like normal. But leave your lining a little bit longer so you have some uh, excess fabric to be able to tuck inside of your opening. See how I've got my opening with the longer fabric there? So you want to leave that a little bit longer because that's what you'll be tucking in to turn. And I'll go ahead and trim the rest of the excess from the around the edge of the bag. From all the way around the other three sides. All right, so we're all trimmed up, and now we're going to turn our bag right side out. Actually, we're turning it, it'll be inside out, completely inside out, because the lining will be all the way around the outside.
It is a little hard to get started, but once you get going, it's not so bad. There we go. And you'll just push all that bag through that opening. There we go. So just work your corners out. Just like that. So our bag is now completely inside out. So this is the lining. And we're going to go ahead and close it up. And to close mine, you can um, you can stitch it closed if you prefer. If you want to, you know, use your machine or just hand stitch it. It's this part's completely up to you. I close my openings when I do line bags. I just use a little bit of um, this Eileen's tacky glue and I'll just put it right inside that seam. And it dries clear. It doesn't leave any kind of evidence that it's that it was messy to begin with. And then I clip it closed while it dries. Just like that. So we're going to let that dry for just a minute. While I clean off the stabilizer from my zipper path and trim up any tails. So I like to just take my scissors and scratch my zipper just to get that stabilizer started and then just peel it right off. It comes off nice and clean. So there we go. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit longer and then we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, I think we've got it now. I think it's good enough. So we'll go ahead and take our clips off and we're going to turn our bag right side out and see how it looks. So we'll just reach right inside the zipper and open it the rest of the way up so we can turn it out. There's our tape that was holding our D-ring ribbon loops down. I'm just reaching in here and poking my corners out with my hands as I turn it. And there we have it. A top zip bag all complete so this is a the five by seven bag so it finishes just under seven inches tall and about four and a half inches wide so this was the bag for the for the five by seven hoop And I didn't mention before, my little ribbon tabs, I held those together with some rhinestone rivets. I put those um, rivet, rivets on whenever I got my D-rings ready. 
So I put the ribbon on it and then attached those little rivets to it. And I've got a cream strap here that I'm going to put on this. Just like that. And there's our little bag. So we do have a completely lined 5x7 bag with the top zip. And the inside, that little opening down there is completely closed up. So there are no seams visible inside at all. All right, so it wasn't that easy. No troubles whatsoever. This little bag stitches out so quick and easy. Um, and it's very versatile. You can use fabric or vinyl. You can put your ribbon loops on the top or on the side for a wrist strap. I put the ones on the top so I could use that shoulder strap. So these are super easy to do. And if you do stitch them out, be sure to come back to our group embroidery playground fans on Facebook and share your stitch outs because I would love to see them. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.